Hello, my favorite students of the Czech language. As you often tell me, writing is one of the most dreadful parts of the Czech A2 permanent residency test. So in this video, we are going to do some exercises that are going to help you to pass the writing part. The writing part has two exercises. And in the first one, you have to fill out a form. So you will probably have to write a name, date of birth, address, stuff like that. Then the second part is about writing an email according to some pictures and the situation uh, which is described in the pictures. So in this video, we are going to go through these two exercises. So pick up your pen and notebook and let's go. The first exercise is to fill out a form. It's fairly easy and it's only for five points. The instructions are Váš kamarád se chce přihlásit do jazykové školy Alfa. Neumí, ale dobře česky. Pomozte mu vyplnit formulář na internetu. Musíte vyplnit celý formulář. So your friend wants to enroll a language school, but he doesn't uh, know Czech so well. So help him to fill out the form for him. Now take a quick look at the form. So we already have the first name, the surname and the email. On the third line, there is adresa. This is of course address. So we will write some fake check address. Ve strani osum pardubice. Now, pohlaví. That is gender. So we will write Mush, which is male. If it were female, it would be, of course, žena. Next one. Povolání studium. That is occupation. Well, let's say my friend is an accountant. So let's write účetní. Mateřský jazyk. That is, of course, native language. So, Alex Neil could be from Australia, so let's write English. Angličtina. Další jazyky, které jste studoval. So, next languages that you studied. Um, Alex also studied uh, French and German. So, let's write francouzština. A Němčina. That was easy, right? Uh, but there could be some more lines in the form. So let's say, for example, věk, which is age. The next could be národnost, národnost, nationality. Or, for example, číslo pasu, číslo pasu. That's passport number. Okay, so let's skip to next task, which is more difficult and also for more points. The assignment is Vaše dcera nemůže jít do školy. Napište omluvu její učitelce. Napište minimálně 35 slov a napište aspoň jednu větu ke každému obrázku. Musíte využít všechny obrázky a reagovat na text u každého obrázku. So your daughter cannot go to school and you have to write an apology to her teacher with at least 35 words and you have to use all the pictures, write to each picture one, at least one sentence, okay? So these are the pictures. I hope you can see it well. 
It is pretty straightforward, right? The story. She broke her leg while riding a bicycle, right? The story is okay, but to write an email in Czech language without any mistakes, that's a different thing, right? So how about you pause the video right now and try yourself to write the story uh, according to those pictures, okay? Or should I do it for you? Okay, so this time I will do it next time you're going first. Předmět, subject, předmět. I would say omluva. Omluva. Vážená paní učitelko. Vážená paní učitelko. Omluvte, prosím, mou dceru z vyučování. Nebude ve škole 14 dní. Od pondělí 1. do neděle 14. května. Má dcera je bohužel nemocná. Nemůže chodit, musí ležet v posteli. Má zlomenou nohu. You can also write má nohu v sádře. The same. Stalo se jí to tak, že jela na kole, narazila na kámen a spadla z kola. Stalo se to v neděli 30. dubna. Děkuji a přeji vám hezký den, Novák. OK, so let's pretend we have a different scenario, but this time without pictures. But the story is like this. You bought a washing machine on the 1st of December. Unfortunately, it broke after two months of using. The problem is that it is not turning on. So you need to write an email as a warranty claim, okay? So how about you write this email first and I'll be just waiting. <laughs> no, again, me, okay, so let's go. Předmět reklamace. Vážená paní, vážený pane, chtěl bych reklamovat naší novou pračku. Koupili jsme ji 1. prosince. Bohužel pračka se po dvou měsících používání rozbila. Pračka nejde zapnout. Děkuji vám za včasné vyřízení reklamace. S pozdravem a přáním hezkého dne, Novák. Good, good, very good. Do you want one more? Really? You do? OK, so let's have one more. This time, how about... A job interview. Wow, that's a good idea. That could be in the test. A job interview. So the setup is that you write an email to your potential boss and you want to be a waiter. You are answering a job offer. Your experience is 10 years working on the job in USA and you would like to start working from next month. Okay, so now I'll just wait until you finish your writing. Done? Okay, so I will start myself. Předmět? Pohovor. Vážená paní, Vážený pane, rád bych se ucházel o pozici číšníka, kterou inzerujete na vaší webové stránce. Mám deset let zkušenost v oboru, 
Pracoval jsem ve Spojených státech amerických. You can write USA too. Pracoval jsem v USA. Rád bych začal pracovat od příštího měsíce. Předem děkuji za odpověď. S pozdravem, Novák. OK, so no more scenarios, but you can dedicate your next few minutes to one of these two videos that will also help you to prepare for the A2 exam. Díky za sledování a uvidíme se příště. Ahoj!